Joining me is a newly reelected Governor John Bell Edwards. So congratulations on that victory and the Tigers victory today. It's been three great weeks as far as I'm concerned, but this one tonight, I will tell you, is special for everybody in the state of Louisiana. And, and I am, look, the way they played, how they dominated a very, very good uh, quality opponent. Uh, if we play this way uh, the next two weeks, I have no doubt we can bring home that national championship trophy. And I don't know whether we ought to be number one in the country, but this is what I know. If we play two more games like we played tonight, we'll finish up number one in the country. As a lifetime Tiger fan, where does this season stack up, you know, against all the great ones of the past? Well, number one, first, we're undefeated uh, that, uh, in the SEC in 2019. That is a tremendous accomplishment. And then to be coached by a Louisiana native uh, who three years ago, a lot of people were doubting, was he the right fit? Uh, he was exactly the right fit. And then I think to be led on the field by a Heisman Trophy winning quarterback, Joe Burrow. And, and I know I'm, I'm a week ahead of us uh, with, with that, but I think that's going to happen. Uh, I don't think there's been a more exciting year in LSU football than this year. And I hope everybody's taking the time to savor it, to enjoy it. Uh, I mean, it might happen again next year, but chances are it won't. Doug Ireland, who works with the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, is a Jonesboro, Louisiana native. He's trying to get enough uh, uh, people to, to make it happen. Jonesboro cha changed to Joe Burrow for a day. Can we get the name changed? Can you do that? I can issue that executive <laughs> order. I'll take care of that on Monday. I need to find out what day of the year he wants it. We'll issue that executive order. Lastly, Governor, uh, did LSU make the case that they needed to today to leapfrog Ohio State and become the number one team? Well, I, I certainly know that there's not a better team in the country. And if you look at LSU's resume, nobody has the quality wins, uh, an undefeated season like LSU had. And then here to finish the season in such a dominating fashion over A&M and today, where the defense has been just superior in both games. And as you know, that was the question mark. That's why people put us at number two. So obviously, I don't believe Ohio State's any better. Uh, and with the resume, I believe we deserve to be number one. But if we're not, to be national championships, uh, champions, you got to be able to, to beat whoever it is anyway. And so we'll, like Coach Orgeron just said, we'll go anywhere, we'll play any team, we're going to win, and at the end of the season, there won't be any question about who number one is. You, you know your football. Governor, right. thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Right. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Let's go back to the studio.